I'm Gemma and welcome to our very first episode of Bigger Bolder Baking. I'm all about taking an average recipe and making it bigger and bolder. So today for our very first recipe we are going to make over the top rainbow cake. It is the perfect cake for all occasions and I guarantee you it'll steal the show every time. We're going to start by making our cake so we're going to weigh out all our dry ingredients first. So in a nice big bowl weigh out three and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. To this, we're going to add one level teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Just put it in the palm of your hand and break it up with the back of the spoon just to make sure there's no baking soda lumps in there. One teaspoon of salt for flavor. One and a half cups of granulated sugar and a half a cup of light brown sugar. And then just mix all your dry ingredients together. If there's any little lumps of brown sugar, just break it up with your hand. Now we're going to weigh out our wet ingredients. Firstly, we're going to melt a cup of butter and put that to the side and let it sit at room temperature. In a separate jug, we're going to measure out a cup and a half of nice thick buttermilk. This is what makes the cake really moist. Crack in two nice big whole eggs. Add in half a cup of sour cream or yogurt. And then lastly, add in some vanilla extract. Vanilla extract, not vanilla essence. Vanilla essence is made of alcohol. Vanilla extract is made of vanilla. And then we're just gonna whisk all these together. Now to make your cake, we're gonna add our wet into our dry. And we're just gonna hold back on the butter until we've mixed it a little beforehand. So one of the secrets of cake making is don't over mix your cake. So we just wanna do it kind of gently. And then when this liquid is a little bit incorporated, then we're gonna start adding in the butter. It is really important to add in butter at the right time. And the good thing about this is that it's been sitting at room temperature. You want to get it around the same temperature as these ingredients. If they're not the same temperature, if this is hot, it'll hit your other ingredients and it'll harden on the top and it won't incorporate it. So try and always get butter the same temperature as your other ingredients. It is the key to so many recipes, including pancakes, and we are going to be making a lot of pancakes in these episodes. Mix until all the wet has incorporated the dry. It's a really, really thick batter. It almost looks a bit too thick, but don't worry. This is exactly the way it's supposed to be. Now, if you're wondering where the rainbow is, we're now going to divide it all up into different bowls and we're going to color each bit of batter. It's going to look amazing. To each bowl, add a generous drop of food coloring. I use orange, yellow, violet, green, red, and blue. Now you have an edible rainbow. So for the cake, you need a spring form, preferably, or just a cake pan. Grease it and then line the bottom with parchment so it's easy to get your cake out. Now this is my favorite part about this cake. We're gonna start assembling it. So we're gonna rotate our colors and then just start to put in spoonfuls of your batter. You can overlay them on top of each other, like kind of like a marbling effect, a little drop of each color. Your cake is ready for the oven. Bake at 350 degrees for an hour and 10, hour and 20 minutes. Now for the frosting. Beat the cream cheese on its own to make it nice and light. Add in the room temperature butter and continue to beat until light and fluffy. Flavor with vanilla extract. Now slowly add in your sifted icing sugar, spoonful by spoonful. And beat all together. And that's your simple cream cheese frosting. Okay, back to the cake. Now that our cake is totally cold, we're gonna get ready to ice it. So we're gonna cut some layers in our cake. This is what it looks like on the inside. <gasps> that is unreal. That is pretty psychedelic. This is the most beautiful cake I've ever seen. 
generously spread the cream cheese frosting between the layers. I am not a cake decorator, but I make good with what I got. It's a good thing I'm a good baker. Try and align the cake up as straight as possible. And then finish with the rest of the cream cheese frosting. Now for the moment of truth. Wow, this is a cake that was made to impress. And luckily it tastes great too. So that's it for this week's recipe. I really hope you try this cake and let me know how you get on. And if you want more amazing recipes like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you back here again next week for more Bigger, Bolder Baking.